Hello guys, Teti Sulu here. I'm a visual artist, a photographer. After photography, I want to do literature. I think I'd love to have a small house in an island or in the woods and just go there and relax as I wait for life to do its thing. I'm a visual artist. Uh, mostly I do storytelling with uh, photography and film. I shoot uh, fashion, fashion film and photo uh, in relation to the environment. So most of the time I'm on the road and uh, different locations and places shooting fashion and, and travel. I come from uh, Uganda. My mom is from Uganda, so I got the name from her. But then we moved to Kenya when I was about uh, 12, 12 years old. I started my uh, early school in Uganda, and then we moved to Nakuru, Kenya. That's when I finished my primary school and also um, high school. And then later on I joined uh, JCOT for IT, which I didn't finish because I was so passionate about film, film production. So I joined USIU for film uh, production. I was kind of like a bright kid, but I was also uh, very... I had so much energy, so, and most of it wasn't focused on the books but uh, extracurricular activities, sometimes sports, sometimes drama. So most of the time I was doing lots of work, but outside, outside books. During high school, I think I never thought I wanted to do anything related to film or visual arts or be an artist of the sort but I probably knew I wanted to be like a pilot or something, one of these formal jobs. But then um, after high school, there's a certain uh, job I used to do which involved me traveling with someone who was close to me, a close relative. So we traveled to most parts of the country towards the north, that's Trukana, to the south, to the Nyanza. And most of the time I wanted to like tell my friends or my family the beautiful places I'd seen. So at some point I realized probably I needed to capture these places or moments in, in film or photo. Uh, so that's what uh, got me into film. My mom was for the idea of me being something very, very formal, mostly probably being a doctor or finance or yeah, something formal, but I, I think I knew what I wanted to do in life or what to do with, with my life and I was really, really stubborn. I think I fell out with her for a couple of months before uh, she, she agreed partially uh, and then allowed me to do what I wanted to do, but then I was very stubborn because I knew I wanted to be um, a visual artist. USIU uh, was amazing. When you enroll for film, you realize that they are very well equipped for film. Uh, they have several studios, uh, most of the up-to-date uh, equipment that's for camera and uh, also for post-productions. And um, the classes were also not so, they were flexible. And uh, the course outline was also amazing because you could specialize in uh, what you wanted to do, if you wanted to be a producer or an editor, if you wanted to be a cinematographer. So that really wasn't being offered in many schools here uh, in, in Kenya or East Africa. So it was amazing to be in an institution where you could actually uh, be specific about what you want to do. Before I really owned my first camera, I used to hire cameras from uh, people who are already in the industry. And then I saved up for my first camera. Uh, I, I remember it took me almost a year to save, to save up for a camera, um, which was later stolen here in Nairobi because I was a new person. Uh, and then I went back to hiring gear. And then later on, is uh, I think I saved again and then I bought uh, my second camera, which, uh, which I still use. 
My first camera was a Nikon D3200, uh, a crop sensor. Nikon was ahead of their time when they made that camera because it really used to out, outperform itself. At the moment, I shoot with the Sony um, A7 III with a 24-70, which is my go-to lens for fashion and, and travel because at 24 you can capture really, really wide angles and perspectives and also um, a 70 to 200 f2.8 which is uh, good to capture close-ups and zoom into into tiny tiny details uh, most of the time when i'm shooting fashion sometimes i use a strobe light so i use a godox ad600 uh, with a probably a 120 centimeter diffuser which gives you a very very soft and, and good light i also fly a drone here and there a mavic pro What I love most when it comes to my work is the part where I get to travel and uh, the bit where all the expenses are paid, but also exploring new cultures, meeting new people, uh, seeing, the, seeing different places of the world for the first time. Another part is uh, during events when the music hits. I'm a very social person. I like hanging out with uh, my friends and family any free time I get. I also love to sleep, so I sleep a lot. Uh, apart from that, I'm watching tutorials or reading magazines or books or just chill. I love quiet and uh, tranquil places. I have a couple of uh, highlights and uh, good things about my career that I'd love to share with, uh, to share with you. Um, an example is uh, doing documentary work in the streets of Kampala. I recently got back from Zanzibar a couple of days ago and also my journey as a Nashinsky's uh, photographer. So see you when you come back from the commercial break. Welcome back to the show, uh, Teti Sulu here again. So I, as I promised earlier to share with you a couple of highlights in my career, I think we can start with uh, Kampala. I worked with, um, with a brand, an organization rather, it's called Yimba Uganda, which is um, an, an NGO, a non-profit organization which works with the community. So I was commissioned to do uh, documentary work for them for the purpose of uh, newsletters uh, and images they'd use for, for the organization. So being in Kampala and exploring uh, different places of Uganda, meeting new people, uh, also seeing how people live their life there was really, really amazing because you get to learn a lot about life and humanity. I think I've been like three days since I came back from Zanzibar. Uh, such a beautiful, beautiful place. I think even the camera can't really show you how beautiful this place is. You have to experience yourself. Um, being in the tropics where it's surrounded, you're surrounded by trees and very, very clean beaches, a very serene and uh, tranquil place. place. And also the food is really, really amazing. Uh, one of the towns in Zanzibar, Stone Town, which uh, is among the oldest town in the, in the country. Also very, very beautiful, the architecture, the design. Also the client I was working for, very, very amazing. So I had a very, very good time in Zanzibar shooting. I've been working with Nyashinsky for a while now and uh, also that's a highlight of my year, being part of the process, uh, seeing him make his music uh, in the studio, 
to capturing his concerts, all the images at the concerts, and the music and the speakers are loud, uh, very good vibes. So those are among very many highlights in my career. That my work is mostly in, uh, inspired by, I think, nostalgia, things I wish uh, I experienced, like probably back in the 90s or the uh, early 80s or 70s. Uh, I find myself, because uh, that's, that's what I consume most of the time. Uh, I read magazines from back in the day. If uh, you watch movies or music videos from back in the days, you'd find that people were so, so intentional about what they do. The choice of color, the choice of light, the choice of outfit. So it really, really inspires my work. You have to be reliable. If people need your services, they know they can rely on you uh, 100%. Um, also, I came to realize that you just need to uh, work on yourself, increase your value, uh, and the clients you want to work with will, will, will come to you so that you don't have to really uh, keep negotiating your prices or anything. Just keep working on your craft, build uh, your portfolio, keep working on being the best person you can and uh, everything else will, will come to you. You are your thoughts. You are who you think. What you think is what your life will be. And uh, the mind is a very, very powerful tool. As an artist, I think you find yourself uh, daydreaming or lost in thought. And most of the things that I used to think about, I later on came to live them in life. Because when I was starting out, I. I remember I used to imagine myself as a photographer uh, traveling the world and uh, I usually, I used to think and actually envision the kind of images I'll take when I'm traveling. And later on in life, I found myself on the road and shooting everything I had thought about. It's really important to think positively about yourself and uh, be the biggest supporter of yourself. And I think everything, everything starts from the, from the mind. There are people who inspire my work and then there are people who inspire my life. Uh, from my personal experience with uh, an artist like Nashinsky, who has become my biggest inspiration so far, in one of his songs he mentions, stick na wasiako wasemeweni diva. You know, like sticking to your value and knowing who you really are and uh, not giving a damn about what anyone thinks about you. So it's really, really important as, a, as, a, as an artist to, to know who you are and to respect who you are. When it comes to my work, uh, there are a couple of people who inspire me. Uh, for example, Tyler Mitchell, uh, who's a fashion photographer, inspires me very, very much. Uh, Annie Lebovitz, uh, who's been shooting for almost three decades now, since, since I think the 50s. I also get inspiration from music. Uh, and I think uh, someone like uh, BN or Saudi Soul in general, the way they write their lyrics or what, whatever inspires them to make their music, uh, there's a lot of inspiration in there that can, all, that can guide you in life and also uh, as an artist. I invest a lot of time in research, uh, that's read books, read articles, uh, watch movies, watch music videos, which are in relation to the project I want to work on. Uh, after that, I really have to ask myself if whatever I'm working on makes uh, sense or the work I'm creating right now, will it make sense 30 years from now or 50 years from now? Just trying to know who I am and where I am in the mental space at the moment when I'm creating the pieces of art uh, helps me. Because now when you do a lot of research before you proceed to do the projects you're working on, it makes them easy to shoot and to execute and the end product is, all, is usually something very, very, very good. 
in the next five to ten years to come, I probably just want to have uh, traveled the world extensively, seen most of the beautiful places of the world. I also want to have published a couple of books. Uh, those are photography books, and to, to be to publish my work. Apart from that, I think I'd love to have a small house in an island or in the woods and just go there and relax. It's important to note that in everything you do, there are building steps that guide you towards uh, your future and that the things you do today are preparing you or making your tomorrow softer because I had to take my time, for example, to learn how to shoot events. So right now when I go to cover an event, I already learned a couple of years ago, even though I wasn't getting booked to shoot any event, I personally focused so much on uh, bettering my craft and becoming a very, very good photographer and I forgot that I also needed to be a good business person for my career to grow. So it's important as, a, as an artist to focus, to find a balance in improving your career and also uh, learning about business. Social media uh, is, is a very, very a big deal at this time in life because uh, most of the big companies are all seeking to have a digital footprint or visibility in there. So anyone who's starting out already doing their craft, it's important that you publish yourself uh, on all social media platforms because it increases your visibility and also uh, it, makes, it makes many new people or strangers come in touch with, with your work. So I think most of the people are depressed in the world right now because uh, there are very many factors contributing to it, uh, one being social media, Another factor being uh, the economy is getting messy and messier by the day. So it's really, really hard for a person to stay sane when all these things are happening. I personally, I take time to stay sane. I do work out, so I, have, I create time to go to the gym. I also create time to read a couple of books because you really need to escape the world. After photography, I think I want to do literature, probably uh, write a book or be a teacher. I don't know, I'm not sure. You can find me on Twitter, which is my favorite uh, social media platform so far. Uh, my handle is at Teti Sulu. Also on Instagram, photography by Teti Sulu. Uh, you can also check up my website uh, where I have most of my work there at uh, tetisulu.com. My favorite social media platform is Twitter because it doesn't compress uh, images when you're sharing pictures. You can share literally at the highest resolution you have. It, it supports up to 4K. Also, it doesn't crop the images if you compare it to Instagram it retains the aspect ratio you shot. Instagram kind of forces you to stick to a 4 by 8 ratio which most of the time limits the details you can share in a photo so my favorite social media platform is Twitter and also I think it's very very easy to be discovered uh, on Twitter because among the biggest clients I've booked for example we're supposed to shoot a campaign uh, earlier this year, we were supposed to shoot a campaign for a fashion brand which is based in India and they discovered our work through Twitter. Physical location, uh, we are on uh, Milimani Road opposite uh, Heron Portico Ambassador Court. That's in, uh, I think, Upper Hill. <laughs>